Hey listen, today we're talking about the OXO conical burr grinder and we're going to ask ourselves this, should we keep it, crush it, or give it away here on Bean Basics? Oh, hey there. Welcome to Bean Basics with Bob and Michelle. Welcome to Sunny Saga Tuck and welcome to the Otis Lab. Hey, listen, today we're talking about the OXO conical burr grinder. And why are we doing that? Well, because somebody asked us to look at it. That's right. Somebody asked us to look at it. One of our little fans on One Big Island in Space, which we really appreciate. And, you know, everybody knows that, that what I like is the uh, Baratza Encore uh, grinder. And, and, and I would put these in a very similar category altogether in terms of what they do. Uh, but I just kind of want to go through uh, the, the OXO with you and, and the various assets that they believe that it has. And then, of course, we'll tell you in the end whether we think this is something worth uh, investing in. Now, right off the gate, I have to let you know that the Baratza is about $160, $170. Uh, whereas the OXO is about $105, $106, okay? So there's already sort of a dollar spread between them. And what I would suggest in that dollar spread right out the gate is that this OXO really starts at the bottom of the higher end of grinders, right? Now the Baratza Encore is very much a utility grinder for me here in the lab and, and I consider it very uh, reliable. But let's go ahead and take a look at the OXO. Now the OXO comes uh, with a scoop. Oh boy. And, and I don't know why every grinder company sends you a scoop because they're all a little bit different and they're not that useful. You know what I want grinder companies to send us? A scale. Well, that would be nice, but that's a little expensive. I want them to give a brush. Oh. You know, because you, in the end, when you want to clean up stuff, it's, it's always nice to have a little brush and brush this off and brush that off. But that would be the most useful thing that a, a company that produces grinders could send somebody. The scoop, I mean, kind of everybody's got one. And plus, you know how we feel about uh, volumetric controls. So uh, I have a list here from, from OXO. And it's sort of like the features of this OXO. Uh, and one of them is uh, one touch start, uh, stainless steel conical burrs. By the way, uh, the Baranza is also conical burrs. Powerful DC motor. And uh, it says precise settings, right? So by that it means, you know, you can set the grind like that. And you can see on the Baranza too, we can set the grind. Now, the only thing I would say right, right here and now is these clicks are more definitive, and I don't know how to describe it more than that, and there's not a lot of give in between. These are a little softer, and there's a lot of give in between, right? You can just feel that right there, okay. Uh, it says it's a powerful DC motor. They both have powerful DC motors, but if I lift this one up and I lift this one up, this is just a much more substantial grinder. I mean, it's heavier. And I'm assuming that that's, that's in the motor. So we'll see. Uh, Mess-free hopper. We're talking about right here. So no static is basically what they're saying. UV blocking tint. And they're talking about the hopper. And they both have UV blocking. Now, why is it important to have UV blocking on your coffee? Because direct sunlight, let's say this is near a window in your kitchen or something like that. If direct sunlight comes in here, it will oxidize those beans. That, that's why we always want to store coffee in a cool, dark place, right? Um, okay, that, that, that's about it uh, in terms of the features that they say that they have. Now, let's kind of take it apart and, and see what we're dealing with here. So we do have uh, a grounds catcher right here. It's all stainless steel. I don't know if you can come in and take a look at that. I might have a few you grounds do. in there. I can right? see you've been playing with it. And I, I like this stainless steel. 
Uh, it's nice, it's durable. I don't know about the lid on top, it's a little on the plasticky side, but I can't complain too much because the hopper on the brats is plastic also. But it, you know, it feels like a really durable plastic and everything like that. So um, there's, a, there's the hopper on top, it has a lid that has a very nice fit to it, I like that. But then uh, I'm going to have you take a shot here. I don't know if you can see this lock and unlock button. Mm -hmm. But if I uh, turn to unlock, two things will happen. One, it'll make it so I can lift this off. But also when I lift it off, it closes a gate here. So if I had, if I had beans in here, okay, oops, there we go. And I uh, unlocked it and lifted it off, the beans wouldn't all spill out. Got it. Right? And so that, that, that is a really good feature. Okay? So I like that a lot. And then also, you can see the burr grinder right in here. You see that? Yeah. Okay. And don't go too far because it, it's really easy to clean. Or if you had a little issue with um, uh, something getting caught in there. Because you can take one burr out from the other right there. And you can see why it's called a conical burr grinder, right? And the other kind of burr grinder is a flat burr grinder. So a conical one means it's, it's sort of pyramidal. Pyramidal. Pyramidal, yeah. pyramidal. okay, I'm right. Uh, this way. And then there's another burr that sits right on top of that and works its way through. So, you know, these are, these are really uh, indeed uh, nice features. So I don't know what a flat burr looks like because I've never seen one. Yeah, so uh, a, f a flat burr would, would have two burrs again, uh, but they would be round and flat. Okay, so not conical. And uh, better for like uh, espresso production, right? You can just get a much finer uh, grind out of the whole deal. Um, okay, we have an on-off switch here. And of course the Barraza has an on-off switch too. Uh, but something that they've added is a timer, which I'm not sure about that, right? <laughs> so, uh, and so, you know, we believe in weighing the coffee, and the reason we like to weigh the coffee is we like to keep the water and grounds ratio the same so that when we, you know, make coffee in the morning and that kind of thing, we always get the same cup of coffee, okay? Now, there are burr grinders out there. There are grinders out there that will weigh coffee as it's produced. And then there's some people that believe that another way to do it is to have a timer instead, right? That if you had this hopper full of coffee and you set it at your desired setting, once you sort of figured out how many seconds it took to get X amount of grams, that you could just always do it by a timer. Uh, I'm not a believer in that because I think things happen when coffee goes through, like one bean gets stuck for an extended period of time, and so you may not throw the same amount of coffee each time, but I think we're gonna go ahead and, and test that. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So, um, I'm gonna plug this in, and you know, I mentioned that this feels more substantial, the Barazza Encore, than the OXO, by weight, uh, you know, from a construction perspective too, there's some metal on here, but I don't feel like it's substantial metal. It's like almost a, a, a veneer. Most of the plastic parts seem right to me, except the, the loose fittingness of this lid here. You do have to make sure there's a little, little snap thing here. You do have to make sure to snap that in place uh, to make everything work. Now, I'm gonna, run us through a different test, and that's just a, a noise test, right? So I think the Barazza is significantly noisier than this. Yeah. But this sounds like a vacuum cleaner or something <laughs> like that, doesn't it? It just sounds like a blender. Yeah. Right? So this sounds noisy, but, you know, substantial. This sounds wimpy. <laughs> to me, okay, to me. And, and Michelle will tell you, I have noise fixations about coffee equipment. And so this just sounds like Tiny Tim to me. You know, it's just, it, that maybe that part wouldn't work out for me. All right, I want to get some coffee in here. And, um, you know, the, the way we would normally uh, do coffee is we would weigh it out here on the, on the scale. 
um, and actually single dose it on, on the way in, meaning that you know, we, if we needed 30 grams for uh, half a liter, yeah. right, we would wear 30 grams, we would turn this on, dump it in, and let it go, okay? Um, but the thing that I want to test is the timer, right? Is the timer consistent? Does it, does it throw a consistent amount of grammage? Grammage? Well, whatever. So let me, let me get some coffee in here. <laughs> I think grammage could be a word. Don't you? <laughs> There we go. Okay, what I'm going to do, and, and what I've done here is uh, I, I've, I've teared out uh, this, this tray right here. It should be at zero. And I'm going to set the timer to essentially five seconds. So I don't know how much that's going to produce, but what I want to test here is, is will it produce in five seconds the same amount of grammage each time, right? So uh, let me go ahead and get one done here. Wait, five seconds. Seriously, I thought I would do five seconds so it would go really quick, right? Woo. But it seems to kind of take a long time. Now, here, I have to introduce something that I really like about this. What you'll notice is I didn't spray the coffee before it went in. I'm not getting any grounds or any grounds of significance here. I don't have any caught up right here. I mean, maybe just a few. And uh, right here... Uh, you can see it's it's not like all aggregated on the lip. I mean, there's a little bit right here. Uh, what I'm saying here is this this is like non-static. Well, that's pretty impressive. That's impressive, right? Now, I think a lot of it has to do uh, with the stainless steel container. Okay, let me get all the coffee out. Yeah. 9.9 grams. Hold on now. Oh, this is why this they is should why always you send brush. you a brush, right? So you get the last of everything out. Is it still nine point? It is. Okay, great. So nine point nine. Let's do the next one. Okay, we're not going to change the time setting or anything like that. I'm going to put this. Now you can see how, by the way, how much static is yeah. in this tray. Yeah, you see yeah, how yeah. that coffee is all. So it's anti-static up to this point, but not after that necessarily, I guess. All right, let me tear this one out just to make sure. There we go, we're at zero. I'm gonna hit this for five seconds again and let it go. Now, you said this one was? 9.9. 9.9, so if the timer method works, it should be 9.9 .9 again, right? Let's find out. Don't panic, what's it at right now? 7.5. Okay. 8.7, 9 9.2, 9 9.4, 9.7, 10. 10.3. Okay. So 10. I've gotten almost all of it out. Yep. Okay. So 9.9, 10.3, right? So um, as I suspected, no tomfoolery here, uh, it's not consistent. Now, maybe it's okay with you to be, you know, uh, X tenths of a gram off, but uh, sometimes we're only having one cup of coffee in a in a given day, and for us, we want that one cup of coffee to be a perfect cup of coffee. True. Right on. Okay, so the question for this is whether it's the Barazza or it's the Oxo. So. 160, 170, 105, 106, 107, right? I don't know. You got, you got to have about a $60, $55 uh, difference on that, right? Is, is, it, is it worth it? Well, you know, one thing I would say, mm -hmm. uh, I, we have bought a fair number of OXO products, and mm -hmm. they're always really good, yep. but mm -hmm. they're not really long-lasting. Right. Uh, I have a feeling we'll have our Barazza grinder 10 years from now, yeah. 15 years from now. I don't know that the OXO would ride that long haul out, you know? Yeah, right. And so sometimes, I mean, Michelle knows I do this. Sometimes I, I take the, what I think the life cycle of a product is, right? So let's say this is 160 in the last 10 years. Well, what is that? That's $16 a year, right? Uh, let's just say for a moment this is $100, but it only lasts five years. 
right? What is that? $20 a year. Yeah, right? So which one is better in that scenario, right? The Encore. The Encore, definitely. But the question about this grinder, I think you got to ask me the question. Well, I don't know mm -hmm. how you feel mm -hmm. about keeping it, mm -hmm. about gifting it, mm -hmm. or about running it over with our cars. Crushing it. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, well, we only crush things, can I just say, that have no redeeming value and no place on this earth. And the OXO does not qualify for that, right? But it's not something that I would keep. I think the Baratza Encore is a better value for me. I think you're getting more. It costs you more, but I think you're getting actually more for your money. I find these in the same range in terms, but this one being at the bottom end of the range and this one being at the top end of the range. So I wouldn't keep it either, but I find it a good starting point for somebody. And so I'd be happy, delighted to give this one away. Yay. Yay. So on that note, I think we're done. When you love the world. The world will love you right back. Hey, thanks for joining us. For future episodes, click the subscribe button. Bean Basics is brought to you by OneBigIslandInSpace.com with two Gs.